Hey everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries Monster Train, a game that, I mean, it's a tailor-made pitch for me. You can even tell from the map. Just, uh, you saw the title already, but if you didn't somehow see the title, look at this map. Tell me what you're playing. That's right, it's a roguelike deck builder. Right up my wheelhouse. Slay the Spire, except it seems like we're starting at the top of the map. Um, basically, the, the central conceit of the game, as far as I can tell from having watched the opening cutscene, we have a train that has the last piece of the pyre. The pyre is used to restart the fire of the world. Something along these lines. Some, some vague notion of what we need to do that gives us an engine to keep playing the cards in front of us. Let's let's go fight a foe, which I assume will take us further in the tutorial and we'll figure out what's going on here. Um, I did receive a code from this from the publisher. Thank you for that. And I will say right off the top before we even do this, the game comes out in about a week. So anytime we get the chance to play something early, I always like to remind people if you like what you see, take the opportunity to go to the store page linked in the video description below on Steam and wishlist it. Because a lot of the times people will watch something. Well, you know, I feel bad. Devs will give us an opportunity to preview something early. People will watch and be like, it's cool. And then like a week later, they're like, I forgot about it. So take the opportunity now if you enjoy it. It helps us do cool stuff like this in the future. Heaven's priests. These disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. Are we the baddies? Is that is that what's happening here? We're the baddies? Protect your pyre. This is your pyre. If it takes too much damage from enemy attacks, the run is over. Alright. Enemies have boarded your train. Enemies enter at the lowest level and move up one level every turn. If they reach the top, they'll attack your pyre. Summon units to defend your train. You can play each unit card once per battle. Hornbreaker Prince, Multi-Strike, and Rage 5. Plus 2 damage per stack decreases every turn. Okay. Well, we'll start here. Welcome. For Gurg! <laughs> oh my Gurg, it's for Gurg! Okay, uh, Train Steward, 5-8. I mean, the man is... With 8, we gotta put him... Up at the front here, so he's a little tankier. Torch does two damage to everything, or no, this chooses who can be targeted. Okay, I mean, we'll ice the healer first, obviously, and then we'll ice you. Let's see what happens. Once you end your turn, combat plays automatic plays out automatically. First, enemies attack the friendly unit closest to them, then any friendly units who survive the attack get to hit back. I gotta tell you, you're in a world of hurt. Oh, there's more! <laughs> uh, restore. Restore three health. Torch does two damage and another train steward. We we can't have another another unit up here. I think that's correct. Um, so what should we do? I think it's very simple. I think you yeah go ahead and kill the healer, and we'll run a quick restore game on you. I don't know, like save some mana. I guess we could torch you. Might not be any reason to save the mana. A brief respite. Protect the Bone Shaker. Of course. I, I've known as long as I've been alive that the most important step in this game is to protect the Bone Shaker. Final wave. This train will soon be mine. Defeat the boss to win the battle. His relentless ability means that combat will continue in this room until you or he is defeated. Okay. I understand. Um, can I restore you higher? I can't. All right. I've never been in a train like this before. He's never seen so much food as this. I think this guy's gonna make it up a level. I don't. I don't think there's much we could do to stop him, honestly. Got him. Got him. Got him. You hit me, but then I got him. I got him. Then you hit me. I knew he was moving up. If we're able to stop you here, the winged may take notice of us. Hold on. You. I gotta tell you. You are roasted and toasted. We have put you into lethal range and destroyed you. Victory. Battle one, two turn boss rush plus 20%. Look at that. We get 50 coins and two packs. Hornbreak. Piercing does four damage. Deal two X damage to enemy units. Spends all of your remaining mana. Okay. I look, uh, embers. You can call them embers. I'm, I can call them mana. Energy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Skill points, point de compétence. Molting Imp. Summon. Deals 10 damage to a random enemy unit. Um, oh, we choose one, we choose one. Okay, hold on. Kind of like one 
energy for four seems pretty good. Ten damage to the front enemy unit for zero. Spikes. Okay, I understand. It's like, it's thorns. Enhance a unit with plus three and plus three. Hmm. Honestly, zero for ten damage seems pretty good to me. But you never know in a deck builder what cards are going to be, you know, incentivized and what cards aren't. Okay, where do we want to go? Merchant of Steel, forge your units to gain new powers. Or a Merchant of Magic, forge your spells to gain new powers. Gain an Awoken unit, gain a Hellhorn unit. Very interesting. I like the presentation as well. This is a neat presentational style. Let's go left here and we'll go to the Merchant of Steel. I don't know if we have a choice. If we, Maybe we can go to both. Um, so let me think about this. Upgrade a unit with plus six power. We have 150 gold. Yo. Upgrade a unit with quick attacks before enemy units. Yo. Yes. Um, excuse me. I would not like to use it on a train steward. <laughs> I would like to use it on my, uh, on my other guy. Hold on. Can I not use it on Hornbreaker Prince? Or is it because he's a champion, he's already, like, too strong or something? That makes sense. Um, well, in that case, let's not go quick. But let, let's make, like, a super unit. So we'll upgrade... Oh, yeah, he's... Oh, I see. You only get a spot for two upgrades. Okay. And then we'll upgrade a unit with plus 15 HP. And, like, that guy is now unstoppable. With 90 gold, just hold up a second here. Can we can we then go to the we can go to the Hellhorn banner? Um, we can get a 30 and 4 unit. Oh my god, if we could give him quick, he would be unstoppable. Or it triggers after combat, gain armor plus five. I'll, I'll take that for now. I do like the idea of the other guy. Um and you know, it, this is a classic Northern Lion try situation. Immediately I'm talking about the game. I'm not talking about uh, or I'm not even talking about the meta situation surrounding the game I'm, I'm already engrossed you got me i'm already engrossed on this one so i'll tell you what do i like here <clears throat> in terms of removal i feel like we do not need other train stewards but maybe we'd like to have four anyway 11 23 5 8 i mean that's an obvious choice uh but I, I feel like the restores were not that good for us but you know what cut cut one of the basic units for me first and then for 50 i'll also cut a restore just to make my deck a little bit thinner and a little bit more consistent hopefully and then we'll move on to our next battle this seems immediately fun and accessible these spiked foes will make direct attacks more painful using spells from afar will let you fight them without sacrificing your units makes sense so you other friendly units on the same floor get a bonus so the dream for sure is uh, we just ice you. Although, this does four piercing damage. It's pretty good. Hold on. Start here. You have 10 armor. We want to put our armored unit up at the front. Combat previews are now enabled. The preview number shows the amount of damage each unit will take during the next combat phase. A red X means they will be defeated. You will be defeated. Your ashes will scatter to the earth. You will be no more. Okay. And then this guy's going to build, like, a stupid amount of armor. So if you die first, the other units lose their spikes, I believe. Beautiful. You also stand no chance. I mean, this is like... Come on. Nobody's even lost HP. I don't, I don't see a need to spend any mana here. You've been toasted. You have 10 armor. A brief respite. We get one extra turn off to really do nothing because we've constructed our deck so beautifully right to, to begin with. Okay, final wave. This guy is relentless. You gotta be you gotta be cautious on this, but we've cost him his spikes. Um, we can't really... Can we go up a level and play some stuff? Yo! I didn't realize we could, like, get set up for the next turn up there. That's, that's very interesting, actually. So far, it's going okay. Want to speed up combat? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm comfortable at our current speed. We've whittled him. We've whittled him quite well. That's I got nothing wrong with that. We took off like 68 HP or something there. Okay. By the way, boop. You're toasted. <laughs> Easy enough. All right. 50 gold and some more cards. Summon. Apply 10 armor to the front 
friendly unit. The problem is it then puts a crap unit on the board. I guess we could use our own spells to kill it. I don't think it's worth 10 armor, honestly. But I, I, I do like Fortify, apply armor 6. That could keep a unit alive for a turn. Um, restore 10 health to a friendly unit. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to double the amount healed. Enhance a unit with plus 3, plus 3. Or draw one additional card each turn. This is great um, in principle, but it does take up one of the two slots on the board, which is a very limited resource for us. So, to be honest, I'm just going to take the basic buff and, and hope that that plays out for us. But it's really hard early on to get a feel for, like, where you want to be, um, you know, in a deck builder. Because we don't really know yet. I think uh, we will go to the Merchant of Steel. Because I want to gain an artifact. I want to see what kind of... If it's a passive benefit, maybe. Merchant causes a reduced... Or 50% chance to apply dazed when an enemy unit enters your train. 50% um, chance an enemy doesn't attack on their first turn. Seems amazing. <laughs> Just seems incredible. And I'll tell you. A unit getting plus 3 and 5 hearts. I absolutely think that works well on our armor... Uh, Lord. We'll just move on here. Daedalus. Heavily armored creations protect this ex-professor in his quest to safeguard Seraph and the Winged. We haven't collected all the rewards. Oh! Concealed caverns! Something interesting can be found in the frozen hell vent caves. Okay. What's going on here? I want it? Uh, okay, hold on. Two ornate chests have emerged from the thawing ice. Both chests have a strange locking mechanism that looks like they could be picked with shards from the pyre. The more decorated chest might take a few more tries, though. Do you break off some of your pyre to get what's inside? I'll, I'll do the big attempt here. And it's not it's not skill-based or, like, random chance. It's just uh, straight up. So we spend some of our max HP in order to get a lot of... Uh, a lot of benefit. And we can now afford to upgrade a card with multi-strike and again i'm like dude give the steel worker multi-strike this guy's now he's out of control multi-strike is just double strike from from magic and other you know games of the of the ilk i don't really think spending 30 on lowering our mana cost by one has been relevant so far if we get something good we're happy to play it for one plating steel plating seal constructed explosives enter with damage shield okay so we have to hit an explosive twice in order to kill it this is like the super boss, maybe, of the tutorial. Daedalus is the strongest boss you faced yet. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out other enemies on that floor. Okay. Watch out for triggers. The bomb has a triggered ability and will explode on its turn dealing damage. Mouse over units with a purple trigger effect to see the details of their abilities. This did get dazed, though. <laughs> Can't attack for one turn. But I don't think it's trying to attack. So I, I don't think that's relevant. Um, so here's my thinking. Certainly, I do feel like a double strike unit on the top is going to do a lot of good for us here. Your days too. That's hilarious. Um, hear me out. I actually think we do this. It's going to nullify that first source of damage. Then we're going to hit... But then we're going to hit again, and we're actually going to damage that guy, which is good for us. Now, you have multi-strike, and this is this will kill you and also block up one more side of the board. So I, I do respect that. And um, I, nobody's getting attacked right now. Honestly, I think we give the armor to the guy who's already going to get armor, because the this champion unit loses so much strength after its first couple of turns anyway. I feel like we're, we might as well protect the strongest unit. And this seems to have worked out nicely. Okay, so you have placed a bomb there. Triggers when you cast a spell on this floor. You get extra attack. So you're dying. You're already dead. Oh, but he encanted. But he doesn't attack this turn. <laughs> um, enhance a unit with plus three and three HP. I still feel like you're way better off using it on this guy. Um... We're not going to do any damage to anything else right now. So here's my thinking. Let's put a train steward like one level up just to get ready. We could have cast a spell on this guy as well, but this guy's not doing anything. I'm not sweating this just yet. 
I knew it! Okay. Alright. So, you're dying. You're exploding, which is also pretty bad. Uh, but you're... Why are you exploding? Shouldn't I be attacking you twice? Okay, hear me out here then. Something like this. And then this. You're already dying. Let's... Hit you for 10, which is admittedly pretty bad. Now you're taking 5... Maybe... I, I think I've got something incorrect here, but it's okay. I think it's still working out quite nicely. It just might take us a little bit to get through this part. So you're not doing anything. I got smacked a little bit. You're going to get destroyed next turn. Oh, you moved up. <laughs> How dare you? All right. We, we have to go a little faster. I'm dying. But why? Are you attacking? Is that? No, you don't, you don't even have an attack. So I'm thinking, like, I mean, straight up. Something like this. Now we're not dying. We're just getting hit for two, which makes perfect sense. Um, but we can... There's no reason to restore. You're dying. Hmm. You attack for two? Really, the only unit I would seem... I would see fit to protect is the Steelworker right here. This is a very long fight. Honestly, like, the, the, the Rage Prince, if he dies, he dies. He's not doing any damage anymore. This is tougher, though. I'll admit, this is this is a much tougher one. But we're still drawing other cards. I wonder if this unit dies. No, because you can only summon them once per battle. Okay, I, I, here's a mindset for you. No, this doesn't make sense. You're, you're dazed. You're just shooting? You're shooting for four? You're not really doing that much, which I respect. <laughs> I think you should get hit. No, sorry, let me rephrase. I think you should get hit. You attack first. That's our problem. You wouldn't live through that, so there's no, there's no need. There's no need for what you've just done. Let's just make this guy stronger. I think if we can buff up our, our steel worker well enough... Then they will do all the damage we need to have done. But I don't know. This might be a tutorial. I'm looking at this tutorial. It's so much harder than the last mission we had. Oh, maybe you just survive. You don't even have to kill him. If that's the case, then, like, to be honest with you, it's already over. He's now attacking for nine. Oh, but he's relentless. He's relentless. Um... Honestly, I'd rather hit you for two. It saves us more damage. Okay. This should be interesting. Those big hits were important. It's a knockdown, drag out battle. We're going to be totally fine. Destroyed. Hey, come on. Three turn boss rush. No problem. Look at the gems. All right. One energy per turn, your pyre gets plus 10 attack, plus 30 HP. One card per turn, or one gold on each floor. Man, it's not gold, it's something else. It's a different resource. One extra card drop per I mean, one extra mana is really good in Slay the Spire terms. Certainly, I would think doubling armor on a unit could basically render that Steelworker impossible to kill. What is Rejuvenate? Triggers when healed, even at full health. Gains spikes one. It's kind of interesting. Attacking all enemy units, also very interesting. Sure, let, let's try taking the AoE unit. We haven't explored that design space yet. Alright, we'll play a little bit more. Um, I think, presumably, we're like outside of the tutorial now, but I will say... Um, Monster Train seems very cool, very polished deck builder. Um, 75 coins, 30 pyre health, duplicate any card except your champion. Dude, I mean, as much as g grabbing an Awoken unit and getting an Unstable Vortex to remove two cards seems good, doubling that uh, Steelworker is outrageous. Get him out here. 
That's that's an amazing. And then restored. We don't really need the pyre health. It hasn't been a hasn't been a reality so far. It hasn't been a problem. But anyway, it seems very polished, very good, very accessible. Not just a generic like, hey, it's also it's like slay this pyre, but our take on it. It's got it's got cool. Uh, I don't want to call them gimmicks, but you get what I mean. It's got like cool idiosyncrasies that seem to make a difference so far. Activating the trial will make this battle more difficult, but you'll you'll earn an extra reward if you win. You know what? Turn it on. Why not? Non-boss enemy units get multi-strike, but we get a random artifact if we win. That's not to say it doesn't wear its Slay the Spire inspirations on its sleeve, because like even just this right here is a very Slay the Spire-y way to kind of display information. Getting Steel Worker early, incredible. You're doing zero times two damage, but you have armor. What's your thing? Adds a self-mutilation card to the top of your draw pile. So let's be straight up. You gotta go. You are dazed, though. So we start here. Steel Worker goes in front. You gotta get iced. You, you're you not gonna die, but you're gonna lose all your armor. Okay. Never mind, you're gonna die. <laughs> uh oh. What's going on up there? Yo, if you can kill this, you get 75 gold. That's pretty tempting. We have no way to kill you, though. Never mind, we have a way to kill you. But you go first. Okay, so we, we have something we can use to destroy you. Um, I mean, I think the simple mechanism here is apply armor. Oh, then I can't play reinforce, you fool. Okay, get the steel worker up there then. And get a get a train steward uh, probably behind. That's okay. No attack. I hit you. Thanks for the gold. Last stop. I can't believe you lived, quite frankly. Okay, we got a lot of enemies to deal with. But presumably, I was just going to say, we might have some spells um, that could help us out. You're not going to die. Shouldn't you die? You're taking 26 damage. I feel like you should be killed. What's your thing? Oh, dying? That's a good trick. You are going to damage my pyre. I don't think there's much I can do there. Honestly, I don't think we want the Husk Hermit out there. I think we'd rather have a second train steward up at the top. But we can we can wait until we get our good train steward if we haven't already gotten them. Um, okay, you are dying. Well, sorry. This is a, this is a my mouse wheel problem that I just I just apologize for. I think we actually just pass here. I'm telling you, these. These steel workers are going to be absolutely impossible to kill soon. Oh, it's only when we draw it, but we're probably going to draw it soon anyway. Um, if not immediately. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Triggers if this card remains in your hand at the end of turn. So we can just play it and not have to sweat it. Uh, I understand. You're dying. You're dying. Restore. I do like a restore on the top guy, but hold on. I think it's worth playing so our pyre doesn't take damage. And then we can torch this dude. Um, then honestly, like, why wouldn't we just ice you? And you, hold on, are definitely dying. We could restore, but I'd actually just rather steal enhance the, the unit at the bottom. I'm realizing now that it's kind of structured almost like a Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Like, when you consider the boss battles, start at the bottom and go to the top, you, it, it, just by definition, enemies start at the bottom and move up, so they'll always pass by your bottom units, so the more you can protect the bottom units, the, the happier you're gonna be, I think. So we definitely, or protect and buff, I should say, so we definitely want to get you going here. Certainly, you might as well play that, I think. And then fortify. The stronger you are, um, the longer it's going to take the relentless enemy to kill you. And then for Torch, like, I don't think there's any reason not to. There's not much reason to, but there's not much reason not to. <laughs> okay. So here comes our boss wave. 
The real problem is that it, they're all attacking twice. That's an issue, I'll admit. Um, and no, none of you are dying, which is also really bad. And also, you're garbage. Um, so here's what I think you do. I think you start with Torch. And then this is pretty much it, right? So I guess we'll put a Train Steward up there. We'll enhance you, and we'll also restore your health. And I'm a little nervous about this. Let's see how it goes. We're getting in there. That's that's real damage. But these guys are doing a bunch of stuff that's a little dangerous. I'm I think this might we did do half of his HP, but I, I think this might be the end of us here. We'll see. Okay. Let's Oh, okay. That's we're not drawing cards anytime soon anyway. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we, we got to go again because they moved up a floor. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I mean, honestly, you've got to go. And then I think straight up. Let's let's accept some pyre damage. Oh, we don't have to, actually. We'll just get these two out here. Okay, let's see, let's see. I mean, nobody said it would be easy. Keep in mind, we did do the optional difficult challenge here. At least we got a second double attack out there. I, I really appreciate that we even got the extra five damage done. And now let's get some more spells, please. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Just think about it. Just think about it. I surely think... For four, we're not going to need the double armor. So we're going to play everything else. I think we'd just kill you with one of these. Kill you. Oh, they did not kill, sorry. Attack you. And then you do 10. If I do this, you'll live for one extra turn. Which I think is the best value, but I didn't really calculate too much, I'll admit. Yo! <laughs> By one attack! We got it right. Plus, we got 50% extra score for just doing the reward. Okay. Collect my rewards, please. Precious plating. Your pyre gets plus 40. I'll collect. Rage 6. I actually like that as a way to make our champion stronger. Consume. Can only be played once per battle. Apply spikes 4. Really good when enemies have a double uh, cast on them, which we had last time, but... Okay, I mean, this is really engaging. This is Monster Train. It comes out very soon. Uh, a, very much a worthy uh, twist on the Slay the Spire formula so far. I'm having a very good time with it. Uh, I guess that is our boss fight down here, so there's only, like... Man, my mouse wheel, brother. Um, one, two, three, four, five... Like six of those kind of biomes to get through, maybe? But it, aren't we on five? How far you've traveled. Through the rings of hell. Anyway. um, Very interesting so far. And I'm assuming there's a lot more than meets the eye. Just because of the fact this is only my second run. I can't really comment on that. But uh, it seems very cool so far. I had a great time. And we got even a little bit of excitement and dopamine shoved into the video. So first off, let me say again, there will be a link in the video description below to check out the game on Steam. It's not a sponsored video. I just like to, you know, I like to keep good developer-publisher relations to in exchange for previewing something early. I'm going to give you an extra push to go check it out and put it on your wish list. If you're interested, that way you can be notified when it actually comes out and be, get a reminder that's like, oh yeah, this cool game I saw last week is now available if I'm interested in purchasing it. It also lets you know if there's sales on the game in the future and stuff like that. Apart from that, if you enjoyed the episode and if you watched all 29 minutes and 8 seconds, I'm going to assume that you did. I'm going to ask you to click the like button. It helps out a great deal. It's the single best way if you're subscribed to the channel already to support me. It sends a message to YouTube. Let's show this game and this content to more people. And it helps me out a great deal. So if you enjoyed the episode, please do click the like button. It helps out a lot. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I'll be in the comments soaking up dopamine. See you next time. See ya!